Welcome to PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel. Delighted to say I am joined by Celtic legend Frank McIverney to discuss the weekend. Frank, not <laughs> a great result for Celtic. Can you just give us your initial reaction to the to the draw here at home against Kilmarnock? Um, awful. That's one word. It was awful. It was a, it was a bad watch. Um, I think most of the Celtic support would would admit that, and and I think the players, you know, would would admit they were. Just, it's not even a bad day in the office because it's been a couple of weeks now. Um, with a couple of injuries and and you know you're talking about Hitati character because Johnson three players shouldn't make a team play that bad you know it's they should, the players coming in obviously are not good enough um, or they've not hit the ground running they used to say they might be good enough but um, I think it's, it's still early we can turn it around but that's, performances like that uh, are not going to support not going to please the fans. They're not going to please. They're certainly not pleasing the manager. I wouldn't think. I think the fans have been quite disappointed with yeah. recent windows, the, the recruitment, yeah. not just in January but last summer as well. What have you made of, of the new well, signings, both can, in January and, and the summer? You can today. blame the board. You can blame the manager. You can blame the players. Whatever. But the bottom line for me is the players are not good enough. The players that are on that park, come on, are not scared to Celtic. Coming to Celtic Park, people were scared to come here and play. Hmm. They're not anymore because it's. You know, I'm sorry to say, but it's average players. What needs to change to turn us round then? <laughs> Get the three players that I've just mentioned back and um you know and it makes it makes the players round about them better because my head is a big loss. Carter Vicker, I mean that, that defence at the weekend, I've never seen a defence panic so much. And as soon as Kilmarnock put them under pressure. And Joe doesn't want to play football. He doesn't want Joe Hart doesn't want to play that across the eighteen yard line. Um it's all right if you've got four Virgil van Dijk's in front of you, but you haven't, and uh, it wasn't a comfortable watch. Um, so you just sometimes Joe, just if the manager wants you, sometimes you're under pressure, just get it up the park and get them out and start again. You know, and that's that's where Celtic's at their best when they're in the other half. You hear the booze at the end of yeah. the game from from the Celtic fans. Yeah. I've also heard a lot of fans on social media and from from speaking to fans outside of the ground that. The Celtic fans aren't happy with the manager just now as well. What would you, what would you say to, the, to okay, those who want Rodgers gone? I think I think the manager will understand that as well. Um, it's not a good watch, but as I say, I, th I think it's average players that are playing. I think the players that are came in are not ready for the first team. Some of the players are just not good enough, and and it's a harsh reality. You know, there's no point in saying yeah, well he's all right and he's no, they're not good enough, and it's it's coming to fruition now and especially. Listen, when you see when you're playing in that stadium, you, you need a you need a certain character. And none of the players have got character. I don't see any leaders. Carl Mack's been different class for us. There's no doubt he's a great player. O'Reilly, good player. But they're just not kicking a ball. They've not stood up now. This is when you need good players. When you need it's alright when you're you're on top of teams and you're playing well and getting a goal and you're getting money match. This is when you need it, when you're at Celtic Park and you're under pressure from Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock's beat them, I mean, twice and drawn once. That's never happened before. I wouldn't, I would hasten to say it's ever happened mm. in the past. So, um, just the players have just got to stand up and say, look, it's not going to happen at our place. Yeah, and um, would you keep Brendan Rodgers until the end well, who of the season at least? Who are you going to bring in? I mean, listen, Pep's supposed to be the best manager in the world. He couldn't make that team. But I, don't, I don't know how they could make that team. Because it's all about confidence. It's about, it's about you know, some of the players, if, if you've got to, you know, it's all right when you're winning, as I said. But grow a set. Stand up and be counted. Because if you're just looking at Kilmarnock and saying, individually, they're better than you, then that's not right for Celtic. Yeah. If you look at the context of the title race now, yeah. Celtic are now two points behind Rangers. Yeah. Rangers top of the league for the first time yeah. in, what, 18 months or two, or two, <laughs> two, two years. years or something? Two years. Do you think Rangers are favourites now to go on and win it? Well, they'll, they'll be favourites because of the, the bookies and all that, but let's, let's be honest, I'm going to look at it and say Rangers are not in any great shape. They're not a good team, yeah. but they're winning games. Clement's come in and what he's done is just made it simple. He's, he's not gaining them any... You know, you don't see them passing it across the back because they're not getting any kind of players. They're getting out of the part and they're starting to play and they're feeding off craps. And, and they're getting wins. You know, they are getting getting results. It's something that Celtic don't do now. So, do you think Celtic can turn this around and win the league? Oh, I think there's still, still a lot of I think there's a lot of points to be dropped. You know, and there's, 
I just think Celtic have got to this week is going to be crucial on the training field. Um, and hopefully we can turn it around. It's a, a massive month coming up. Frank, what would you say to the Celtic fans just now? They're quite rightfully disgruntled yeah. and disappointed with the performances on the pitch, but mm. when you're playing at a club this size and yeah. those players are lacking in confidence, they need the fans on side. What would you say to them to make sure the fans can get right behind this team and, and you know, make the end of the season a success? Listen, just, just get back the team. Back the team and and hopefully that the boys can come through it because I get the players back that's, that's injured. That's For me, that's a massive... I hate to say it, but the boys coming in are not hitting the ground and they're not they might be good enough later but at this moment in time when you walk through that door it's a massive club and the new boys have come in and all of a sudden everything's rosy when you're winning it's great but when it goes against you like this and the, and the fans quite really turn because it's been poor the, the performances have been poor so um, stick with them you can't do you can't change your manager mid-season there's no way you can do that I think Brendan can turn it around I've seen Chris Sutton say that Brendan hasn't made any player better. I don't know if you can make the player better. Matt O'Reilly Prove maybe, me think, wrong. Yeah. Prove me wrong. Mm. Matt O'Reilly's not kicked a ball for the last couple of weeks. He's, yeah. he's a wonderful talent. But sometimes I think Matt wants to play centre forward. You know, you're a midfield player. Mm. Get back in, help your team. Because sometimes when we lose the ball, there's nobody. Uh, the first line of a defence is the defence and there should be somebody in there sitting and maybe Matt could do that a wee bit more. Yeah. Well, Frank, thank you very much for your time and Pleasure. for speaking to us. If you want to make sure you stay right up to date with all of the latest Celtic news and opinion, make sure you are following PLZ Soccer across all of our social media platforms.